Hey there, welcome back. I have a weird, like, this was already filmed and then the file scrapped. So I'm like, I'm just gonna come on here and just do another what I filmed before, but you're just gonna get a little confused because I am 37 weeks pregnant, 37 plus two weeks pregnant today. And I think my next video is gonna be when I'm 30 four weeks pregnant or something like that. So you're like, hmm, it's a weird transition. Um, but it's only because the file was corrupt and now I'm just gonna refilm it because there's, you know, some things that you're gonna notice in that video that I feel like I need to mention before you see it. So anywho, welcome. Uh, it's echoey in here and I'm not sure why because I don't remember it ever being echoey before. So I'm not, entirely sure what's going on. If you notice anything here, um, and this is the main thing I didn't want to do because the whole video, like you see a ring on, and you've never seen that in any other video, and that's because I got engaged on my birthday, which is March 27th, so it's been like over a month now, and um, in the video I did the, like, what happened, how it happened, blah, blah, blah. So we're gonna just chat real quick and do that now. So um, it was my birthday essentially long story short um he spent the whole day not saying happy birthday and i was getting more annoyed i was like really like at the very least because you didn't give me a present you could just tell me happy birthday and i was on the couch in just a t-shirt i had my hair was freshly soaked out of the shower clean i was playing my word game uh you know my normal like calm down, relax portion of my night. And he was making dinner and the cats were fighting. And I noticed that he was like, normally he doesn't break the cats. Like they're not the real fights. They're just more of like, well, Max is playing, Oliver's not playing as much. And he was breaking them up, which was odd, but I was again playing my word game and preoccupied, didn't bother me. Uh, and then like, I looked up and he was like, I feel like Oliver is like acting strange. You should go check on him. And I was like, I looked over and he was just sitting there. I'm like, he's fine. <laughs> so I continued my word game. And he's like, do you hear that? And I was like, what? And he was like, I think um, Oliver has something on him. And then he was like, you should go check on him. And I was like, okay. Um, so I tried to get him to come up to me because, you know, lazy and I was already on the couch. And like getting up when you're pregnant's not fun. Like you'll learn that someday if you haven't been pregnant. And so I got, I rolled off the couch and I picked him up and he had a collar on, which obviously our cats don't wear collars because they're strictly indoors. And um, it had a bell on it, which I did not hear it ringing, but it was ringing the whole time. I just was not paying attention. <laughs> so I don't think it was going how he had planned it. So I picked him up and then he got on one knee and proposed and um, yeah, so that's where this came from. And I'll show, let's see if it will focus for us. It is a peach sapphire and it's gold and it's beautiful and low profile and I love it. And it actually like he had the um, band already designed. So the band is just, if it's underneath of it, it's just gold and um, has like white diamonds in it. So exactly what I could have wanted. Um, it's from a place, and this is <laughs> by Zira main sponsor. They paid full price for it. And like, they don't know me at all, but it's from, um, I found them originally on Instagram. It's a place that we live like literally right by. It's like within 10 minutes is where they do all of their custom work, but they specialize in like rare gemstones. So I found them on Instagram, which is how, and I didn't even know they like literally were right next to us when I found them. So I've been following them. Like I knew what like stones they had. I had hinted very hard um, that this was like, when I saw it, I was like, that's mine. Like, you know, you just felt connected to it. I felt connected to this stone. So uh, that's what he used. And he designed it with one of the design, like ring custom designers through them and then um, did the wedding band with it. So again, not sponsored. I do know because I'm on their email list or I was on it because when they do, they call them their um, mine releases where they, show all their new gemstones. I think that 
if you're on their email list, sometimes they'll send out like promo codes and whatnot uh, because they are like an online um, marketing type thing. So if you, even if you're not gonna engage, if you're just someone that like really loves gemstones, I will have them link below their stag head designs. They did a wonderful job. So again, um, just giving them free press, they deserve it because it is just beautiful. And I just look at it all the time and I love how thin the band is. I specifically wanted like the th thinnest band that was structurally sound. <laughs> so that's what he did. Um, anywho, as far as like wedding goes, it's gonna be a while cause you know, I have a baby inside me and I'm not getting married this summer and I don't really wanna get married in the fall either. So most likely next summer. Um, but I'm not planning that right now because I feel like I need to get through baby first and then a newborn stage, and then I'll decide how to plan it. So that's kind of where I'm at with getting married, most likely next summer. Depending, I don't know how hard it is to get a wedding date because I'm sure they're still backed up from like the 2020 brides. <sighs> okay, and other than that, um, I am 30, I wanna keep saying 38 weeks, I'm 37 plus two, I already told you that. So I don't know if I've said this in any other video. I think it was in a video that literally couldn't go up because it just doesn't work anymore. Um, he is breach. I feel like I said that, but if I haven't, he's breach, which what that means is that um, baby did not follow normal baby suit and go downward <laughs> for birthing purposes. Um, he decided to stay upturned and it's just living his life the wrong way right now. So what that means is when you're a breach, um, almost all doctors will typically, for safety reasons, do a C-section. So I'm not going against that to try to have a natural birth just to have a natural birth. No, I don't. <laughs> One, if you have a breech baby, what that means is that baby's coming out in like, <laughs> like bent over in half. So you're like, birthing out twice the size of what a normal person would. So what that does, not only does it affect mama in like really severe ripping potential, um, and for sure I feel like I would, but it also means that baby's in a very unsafe position and it can actually make it to where their head gets stuck in your pelvis bone, which is so dangerous and um, there's just the, you get a higher infant fatality rate when you do normal births versus C-sections with breach, which is why most doctors would only do C-section. Mine wants me, like, I have to do a C-section, and I don't wanna go through a normal birth with that, so um, our plan is he's coming out in 12 days or sooner. Um, at 39 weeks is when she'll do the C-section, so if he doesn't make me go into labor ahead of time, then I'll wait the 12 days. If he decides to come earlier, I'll just go to the hospital and then we'll do the C-section um, while going in labor. But with the C-section, if he decides to wait the 12 days, I will never actually experience going into labor, which I've gotta be honest, I'm okay with that. So, <sighs> out of breath from talking so much now. Um, that's what's happening. C-section it is, unless he decides to turn, which the last, I think 28-ish weeks is when they're supposed to make their journey downwards, um, so their head down. So the last, what, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two, wait, seven, nine weeks. The last nine weeks he has been disobedient <laughs> and has decided he's much more happy breach. I was a breach baby, so I think this is karma. My mom did not have a C-section with me. I'm sure that did not feel good. I know I ripped her. Um, and also I came out not breathing. So um, also a scary thing because you do like have, again, that potential that their lack of oxygen and like there's a bunch of stuff that can go wrong if you do it normally. Um, I'm here though, I'm healthy. We're good, but I don't, C-section, yeah. That's that's the plan at the moment, unless he decides again to go head down and then I'll go normal because I'm not choosing to have it, but just safety wise, like it's happening and I've made peace with it and I'm okay. <laughs> so well, that's where I'm at. Um, I will show you, 
I don't think, I don't know, like my belly's not as big as I thought it was going to get. So this is it right here. Um, I don't fit in anything, that's fine. <laughs> but I, except for my alliance, if any of you are, have never been pregnant or are pregnant or have never had a Lululemon alliance, um, trust me, they are, you will live in them if you get one. They're worth it. And invest in a pair of black alliance. I went up, excuse me, again, babies, burp a lot, acid reflux, heartburn, all that. Um, I went up one size, so like I bought size six in aligned pants and they've been wonderful and they fit me the entire time, so I'm happy with that. <sighs> okay, that's all. I feel like I'm rambling. The last video, I not only did what I just did with you guys, but I did a huge empties from like the last year. So if you can imagine how long that video was, you are lucky that that is not going up. Uh, <laughs> unless you love empties and then I'm sorry that it's not going up. I wish, it, I wish I could get that to you. Okay, I'm gonna head out because I need a shower and I'm getting really hot and just tired. So um, the next video you'll see is my first and second trimester uh, symptoms and updates and then I'm assuming really soon you're gonna have to see my third trimester one uh, because I only have a less than two weeks left until I can tell you about fourth trimester potentially so I say potentially like I'm going into it so it's gonna happen but um yeah. mm. can't wait see you soon love you goodbye